What's up, everybody? Mr. Smith here. We're back with our last secondary from Baylor EDU, which is the Snub Nose. And it's Friday. Friday. You gotta get down on Friday. But actually, it's um, Tuesday, because Thursday, because of that whole spider bite debacle that I told you about in Wednesday's video, um, I have to go and get it, like, fucking cleaned and cut out and shit like that so I'm trying to get all my videos done for this week and I'm rendering out all of Bioshock now I finished that game it was fucking phenomenal um if you don't have it definitely get it but I'm basically trying to get everything done and trying to get stuff scheduled and all that crazy stuff because I don't know how I'll feel thir after Thursday I'm gonna try to schedule some stuff from Thursday and Friday so I don't know how that's gonna work I don't know how I'm gonna upload it also quickly but I'm gonna try to do my best so I hope you guys you know I hope you guys like I don't know I'm just trying to make sure I have all my bases covered here because I don't want to miss a day uploading um but anyways let's get into the snub nose stuff as you can see throughout the whole time whenever I didn't have a bunch of other classes set up this is the one that was mostly on here maybe in some earlier ones some, some earlier primary ones when I didn't have it I didn't, when I hadn't bought it yet but it was the machine pistol, but this one is definitely my favorite one right now. Uh, I really, really like it. It's a lot of fun. And there's two different, there's really two different ways you can run it that I approve of. You can run it, um, you can run it stock with its regular cylinder and it does 93 damage, but, but you get eight rounds in it. So, and then all this is increased, you know, this is like better, but here's how I like to run it. I like to run mine personally like this that way it does the same damage as a revolver and you only have one less round as the revolver so to me this is a I like it a lot better I like it a lot better like this having the same damage as a revolver it might not have the range but honestly how many times do you fight people over 30 meters I guess that's supposed to be meters whatever their range value is usually it's meters maybe maybe it's feet in this game I'm not entirely sure excuse me um, and then uh, here's another really good way you can run it uh, this one makes it 100 damage which means it'll two shot like normal damage normal damage um, normal armor wearing people normal health wearing people sorry a lot on my mind with the whole shit going on but but you do get a um, I'll show it to you here you do get a pretty good boost to everything else like um, you, you still get to keep your 8 rounds and it's 100 damage you get better hip, you get better aim ADS, you get better like spread on your hip firing, you get better movement speed on your mi er, movement speed. <laughs> That's a lie, you get worse run, worse movement speed. Um, you get better spread when you're moving, you get more, you get way less recoil, and you get six more range. So it's almost up to the 40 of the revolver with this one with eight rounds. But I prefer, I prefer this just because of the extra damage. And I mean, this is really all you can do to this thing. Its iron sights aren't bad, as you'll, you'll see if you've watched any of my videos lately. Any of my other regular blacklight videos lately, you can see too. But let's jump on in here. And, uh, yeah. Plainly hostile agents. So, I'll show you how I like to run it first. This is like my go to thing. Plus, the run animation's really good. I really like the pretty run animation. As you can see too, I'm also wearing my heart suit purple. But, you know, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of got some spread on it. But,. Can kind of see that, mm. and then here's the good thing about this that I like over the revolver. Here, well, let me kind of get some health back. Is that you can do this? <laughs> you kind of just spam the shit out of this thing. I mean, you might not always be able to hit stuff with it, but if there's somebody right up in your face, there's no other thing like it. I can't tell you how many lucky headshots I've gotten with it. But, here's something else that's pretty cool. Let's say I buy... Reload it. The reload, I really like the reload animation too. But, if I'm ADSing, this is me tapping as fast as I can. Right? That's as fast as you can shoot it when ADSing. But this is as fast as you can shoot it whenever it's just, you know, you're hip firing. Which, if you can fucking keep it under control, it's really good. But, like, I, I get a lot of lucky headshots with the thing. 
and shit like that. Like, say, you run into this dude. Sometimes that happens, so you gotta be careful. I must have hit him once, or he was hurt by something. I didn't realize I hit him once. Health. Um, but... It can be finicky, but it's definitely my favorite secondary right now. And whenever I die... And look at that range. See, that's out of range there. I mean, you don't really... You don't really shoot a secondary that far anyway. But, you say you run into like that. See that headshot there? That's how I end up usually saving my life. I'm gonna finish this off. And then I'm kill me. Yeah, so... Now we can see how it reacts a little bit with uh, Magnum ammo, which is also... Like, it would be my second choice, but I don't feel like buying Magnum ammo every time. Plus, I have damage nodes for uh, regular ammo, so mine actually does a little more than 125. See, but you gotta hit them three times with that. Which also isn't really that big of a deal, unless you're running up there in this ship. But, I mean, you can shoot it a lot more, too. See, but that dude just ended up tanking it. If it would have been my regular one, he would have been dead. Which is why... I prefer this, but right now, as of now, this is definitely my favorite secondary. Um, I don't know what plans they have on the works, and definitely when new receivers come out, and I can actually use them and customize them and play with them, I'll definitely be trying to, I'll be having videos up for them too, so it's not like it's going to be the ultimate end of uh, the gun stuff, but, but for right now, since we've done all the guns, that's going to be it. And I think I'm going to go through damage nodes after this. Well, you know what? You'll, you guys will have all weekend to tell me what you want me to do next. Fuck you, you bitch. But definitely going to try damage nodes next if uh, you don't a few people, people's subscribers, whatever you want to be called, don't have a problem with it. Or if you don't have anything else you'd really like to see next. And then I'll probably go over gear or armor and health and that kind of deal like how all that shit works. Like, how armor works is kind of tricky. Um, the nodes are kind of tricky. It took me, you know, a little bit to get used to how fusing them works and how getting them up to, like, the caliber you want works. Which I know it's kind of one of those things that are kind of, can kind of be taboo, but it, you know, people say, be a man, don't use nodes, but then again, if you fucking you can use nodes, and they might not be huge boosts, but they can be good. They can help out, you know, a lot of shit. So, I mean, why not fucking show them off and let you know how they work and shit like that. How to fuse them and other sort of stuff. And that's what I like about this secondary, is I can fucking, I don't, like, the iron sights are good enough that I don't feel that I need a longer range scope on them. But then again, if you really want that pocket sniper feel, you can go with the revolver. I just prefer this because if somebody gets in my face, I still have that ability there, but if somebody gets in my face, I can do that too. Like, say I'm running around and somebody comes around a corner, I can just fucking... But if they're like that, I can still pop them. So, that's just the reason why I like it. It's got the power... With this cylinder, anyway. It's got the power of the fucking... Of the good old handy dandy... I wonder what happens if I heal this dude. Oh, you can't heal your box. I never knew that. Interesting. <coughs> <coughs> it's got the killing power and ability as the fucking re regular revolver with being able to shoot. Uh, looks like... I don't know. We'll check the stats afterwards. Or I might leave this match really quick and check them. Play, uh, fire rates on but I know it's a massive difference. And this will also, with my damage nodes anyway, I can pull off one shot headshots with it. Because of a, uh, I don't know how the bots work, but if you run up somebody wearing 150 health, their helmet usually has pretty good armor, and you know, shit like that. But usually a headshot ends up with a primary and stuff, it ends up being two headshots to kill, like one there and then you know, one headshot. But, with this, I can usually pop off somebody's head really, really quick. So, that's kind of really it. it I, it's pretty much my favorite secondary. It pretty much has been my favorite secondary for a little bit now. Ever since I started using it and got used to it and shit like that. 
It's been my primary or secondary. My primary secondary, there we go. That's a good one. I mean, if I was going to run something else, it'd be a machine pistol, honestly. Just me, personally. It'd be the machine pistol, because that's what, uh... That was really the first secondary I bought. That's what I'm most used to, other than this thing now. And that's what I like, was being able to run around and pocket SMG people when I'm using, like, a boat action or something. But with... If I need a... If I need something like that here, I can just do this. And look at that. It killed two people with the bat, which... Not saying that the SMG can't do that, and you are lacking in the ammo that you usually have. And I'm usually a big advocate of uh, stuff that extends your ammo, but with this, it kills so fast and fucks up so many people that it's really not as necessary as, as I feel it is with the other guns, so that's kind of pretty much it. But um, I'm going to go until I die here, and then. We're gonna go check out the fire rate difference and compare this with the revolver because that's really its main comparison and contrast. It would be this and the revolver. I'm gonna try to stay alive as long as I can. If I don't die the rest of the match, then GG. But if I do, then you know that as well. But as you can see, the iron sights are pretty good. I like them. The white dot on him, and he's hit. See? Sometimes you miss, but you, you know you miss every everything. My accuracy is also not perfect, but it should happen. So let's jump out of this and leave this uh, leave this match where I went for 44 and 5 against the bots. And we'll go ahead and uh, compare this to the revolver and I can finish setting up my classes and we'll talk about other stuff. But I hope you like the purple. I've been trying to switch up my camos every time I do one of these. I'm eventually going to try to get uh, matching weapon camos for the hard suit camos. Like, I mean... I'll use my gold for yellow, but I want to get a blue one. I have green. I want to get like an orange looking one, which I could use it. I might just end up using that other Astro Graffiti when I use orange. And I want to get a pink one and a red one. And I have white because of science. But anyway, uh, let's pull up the, the revolver here. Okay. Well, I could do this actually. So let's look at this. That way it shows both their stats up here. So they both have the same damage. And this one has one more ammo. One more ammo. So I get you get one less round with that with how I run the uh how I run the fucking fuck what stum nose. And then it has better spreads overall. And uh it has a better it has a faster reload, but that doesn't really bother me that much. It has a little better range, but this, the snub nose has, still has better recoil. And then look at the fire rate difference. And this one has a 200 fire rate, and the snub nose has a 600. Do you realize that that's faster than... Fuck, not the, none of my guns that I have equipped. 650, like, it almost shoots as fast as this if you can pull the trigger fast enough. It almost shoots... The fire rate on this isn't 650. Since when? Since when does that shoot as fast as... Oh, I guess it does shoot as fast as a assault rifle. Never mind. This one's 750. That's what I was looking at. But it has it has a really awesome fire rate compared to this one. 200 to 600. And that's what I like about it is I can spam the shit out of that snub nose when I get in trouble. Or somebody runs right up on my face. Whereas... And, like, this thing shoots faster than the Sark. 250 on the Sark. The full auto. It fucking shoots... Only 650 or 250 less fire rate than the machine pistol, which is a completely full auto. So, I mean, definitely shoots faster than that. It shoots the same speed as the bursts in the fucking burst fire pistol. It shoots just as fast as this. So, it's definitely, like, it's my favorite secondary, for sure. Especially right now. Like, depending on what comes out later, that may change. But as of right now, this is definitely what I'm going to be bumping the whole time. So, um, yeah... I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try to go over data nodes and uh, armor and health and shit like that. And uh, the equipment stuff. The depot items and how they all work. And all this stuff and how it all works. And all this, this stuff here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. We'll see you on Monday. You guys let me know which, which you'd rather see me go over first. The nodes? Because the nodes will just be one episode. And then... uh. 
and then like the armor will probably be not even one episode the armor will probably be part of the helmet gear stuff since it's all wrapped into one and then we'll go over uh, upper body and then lower body and then how you want health to go I'll probably just go over all this and maybe like this in one I don't know yet we'll work it out and then we'll go over maps after that but let me know what you want to see and how you want me to break it down because that's really what it's what it's about I do these videos for you but that's it for me I hope you guys enjoyed and peace out everybody